In today's local and national news, we report on 33 Burmese migrants caught as they illegally cross borders into Thailand, the leader of an odd criminal trio shooting himself along with his accomplices, strict conditions adhered to in Pattaya over the weekend, and a local fisherman's very odd catch, which saw him taking it to the police station instead of his barbecue. The Chombri Public Health Department has issued a request that anyone who visited the Dusit Grand Park Condominium E building in Soy Teprasit 9 on either February the 22nd or from March the 3rd to the 4th contact local hospitals and register their visits. This after at least one COVID patient was found to have visited there on those dates. Anyone showing symptoms of concern should call ahead and apply for treatment. Sunday's COVID reports nationally showed 65 new cases, 60 within the community and five in quarantine following arrival here. With no new deaths reported, Samutsa Korn once again was top of the charts with 38. In Kanchanaburi, 33 Burmese migrants were intercepted as they crossed the border into Thailand. Patrols spotted them and quickly took them into custody where they were tested for COVID and then isolated. The group, who'd paid thousands of baht to cross, included children and claimed that they were transiting through Thailand to get to Malaysia. When caught, it turned out they were starving after a trek that had lasted several days and so they were provided with meals and water. Cheating people out of some 20 million baht with a fake sales scam saw an odd trio do very well. That until they were charged by police in Chiang Mai. Odd in that the trio comprised of a local man and his two wives. Odder still, as a police visit saw them holed up in a condo and surrounded, the husband took it upon himself to shoot both wives before turning the gun on himself. No word on the missing millions. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, local authorities spent the weekend visiting all the entertainment areas of the city, ensuring that proper closing hours, midnight, were adhered to. And they were. As the clock struck 12, so lights dimmed in the city's haunts. Operators had been warned that opening beyond midnight could see fines and possible closures, and it seems it all complied. Patia's forgotten gem may finally shine as workers re-begun on the 20,000-seat sports stadium at the Eastern National Sports Training Centre in Soi Chaya Prook. For the past eight years, it's seen the work halted and visible only to the locals, but we're told it's now 60% complete and plans are for it to be finished by the year's end. That would see it usable, at least, for the scheduled 2023 ASEAN Games in Thailand and is set to feature multiple sports facilities including pools and tennis arenas along with parking and food courts. Total cost? Just under 800 million baht. And a local man out fishing caught more than he bargained for. He was out for squid, a tasty dinner, but instead netted a bag which, when opened, revealed dozens of ID cards, driver's licences and ATM cards. Shocked, he took it to the police, where each card was listed and the genuine owners will be notified. It's thought that it was a stolen stash, perhaps already used and discarded by scammers or pickpockets. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs of 32, dropping down to 23 tonight. And the chance of a stray thunderstorm. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.